Hilarious news is Amber Heard's team has seemingly been exposed as picking up a rent-to-own nomination for Best Actress in a Feature. See, her team is all over social media, hyping the fact that In the Fire got a Best Actress feature nod for Amber Heard at the 2024 Mammoth Film Festival. According to the website, though, this looks like a rent-to-own nomination where you, too, can be part of the process for a low, low price of $40. And the crowds, man, yeah, they're going to be pretty mild. I mean, look at this place. It is not huge. No knock at it. But still, this is what's being hyped up. I mean, we're talking about a movie that is so bad that it was panned by the very people that were hyping it up, telling you, oh, Amber Heard, you gotta go see this film. Yeah, see it to a whopping 15% from the critics. Paying for nominations, man, you and I, we're gonna talk about this and so much more today, too, and this, so it really is fun times. This is fun times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you were doing excellently, man. Talk about absolutely embarrassing. So for the last few days, Team Amber Heard has been sharing this screenshot here all over social media. It says Mammoth Film Festival 2024 official nominee for Best Actress in a Feature. And you'll notice right here, one Amber Heard. Now, them hyping this up alone has been hilariously cringy with them trying to say, yeah, this proves Hollywood comeback. I mean, everybody loves her. The Oscars, ah, they are coming soon. And the popcorn truly overfloweth when you look into the nomination process and you find out this wasn't a selection by the place. Oh, no, this is a nomination that was paid for. I mean, check this out. This is off of their website. Quote, nominate Best Actress in a Feature Film. With this contribution to Mammoth Media Institute, you have made a nomination to our judges in the Best Actress Feature category and reserved an announced nomination at the 2024 Festival if official selection. So you'll notice different pricing tiers. I mean, they're all essentially the same, though. Standard, you pay 40 bucks. If you're a gold member, I'm too lazy to look up what a gold member is, but if you're a gold member, that comes with a $35 fee. And something that really takes the price here, and I want you to drink this in because this, oh, it is beyond funny. Props to Emmy, by the way, for putting up these numbers. If you look at at what it opened up to. It only opened up in Italy. It's opening day. It amassed a whole whopping $184. And it made for its opening week $866. So essentially, if somebody's going out and they're spending $40 to try to get this thing nominated, they're spending 22% of what it made there for its opening day and almost 5% of what it amassed during that entire week. I mean, yeah, that, oh, that is stellar and it is beloved, right? Now, another thing that I find fascinating about things like this is that nobody really peeks behind the curtain, as it were, to really show you what these film festivals look like. And I'm not knocking this film festival when I'm saying this. I'm just pointing out the fact that everybody, they think cans. They think celebrities, spotlights, crowds, and more. When the reality is that this place is apparently located in a strip mall. You have Starbucks coffee, you have chocolate factory, and you have your cinema right there. And I mean, really, that's the issue. And again, we're not knocking the cinema. We're not knocking the festival in any way, shape, or form. I'm just talking about the fantasy versus the reality. The fantasy is that this place, it actually is some type of comeback for Hollywood. You know, you're seeing her career revived. She's getting a nod. Hey, she's going to be going to the Oscars. When the reality is that you're talking about a local cinema here. I mean, you can see their banner here, too. You have the Mammoth Film Festival. It says home of the Mammoth Film Festival. It has their app displayed and more, just in case you think, yeah, this isn't actually the place. Now, the real kicker in all of this is the movie and the acting job that 
is being nominated because this is a universally panned feature. I mean, if you look at audiences, first and foremost, people didn't show up for this thing and watch it at all. I mean, it's been out on video on demand. You have all of these people that are always talking about Amber Heard. I mean, hey, they're going to hype her up and more. They couldn't be bothered to rent this and to review it. You have two 150 plus ratings. That means under 500 people as audience went in and they actually rated this movie. The real kicker to all of this, though, is the critic reaction. Because you know, they always dismiss the audience. They like to use words like review bombing. Well, in this, they can't do that at all. Why? Because they too knew that this was a terrible movie to the tune of 15% or a 4.3% out of 10 when it gets to the scoring. And remember, a lot of these folks are the same ones that continually hype Amber Heard. They wrote dozens and dozens of articles about this movie saying it would be the catalyst bringing her back. Oh, you couldn't ignore it. Yeah, even they say it's terrible. And she needed this to succeed too because she's not just the actress in this. She's also one of the people that is responsible for the film. When you look too, what really makes this funny is people like Aaron Peterson from The Hollywood Outsider that tell you this is one of Amber Heard's best works. It's some of her best work out there at all. Other people are telling you, yeah, she did terrible in this. I mean, this isn't entertainment. It's an endurance test. There's considerable flaws in the calculation of this tale, and it leads to a sour, hypocritical conclusion. Shallow, tedious and forgettable horror thriller that suffers from clunkiness, stilted dialogue, lazy exposition, and a lackluster plot that is dark but very low on suspense and intrigue. Amber Heard is miscast here and gives a hammy performance. And that is the understatement of the century, by the way. This is a terrible movie. It is a terrible performance. And I can say that. I went out, I actually saw this thing so you wouldn't have to. Now, according to social media posts, Amber Heard will not be in attendance to this thing either. So essentially, this, it is an award that costs, I guess, $40. And the nomination is an award because they can use it for PR and they are too. I mean, all of them are, including, interestingly enough, Eve Barlow. The Barlow thing, I think, is fascinating, too, considering Heard's people, all of those fans online, they've been turning on her hardcore. Amber Heard hasn't said a word about it. I mean, you have Eve Barlow. She is being blamed for every ill thing that Amber Heard has ever done online. They've been calling Eve Barlow a puppet master, introducing Amber Heard to a cult, and much, much worse. Oh, it'll be interesting, though, to see if she actually does win. That, oh man, we'll see. But anyway, let me know what you think about this, and as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. Want to help out the channel, by the way? Links are in the description. Share this thing, too. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you, and we will see you soon.